Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to continue creating our character customization menu or I, we're going to try and finish it actually. It's not going to be that much harder, it's just going to be a few add-ons. Um, outside the tutorial, just to make it a little bit faster, added a couple texts, added stat points text, says stat points left, doesn't matter what it says, it's just a test um, uh, showcase because in code I'm going to actually change it. And I have the strength points text, agility points text, and intelligence points text. I'm actually going to go ahead and create another button. And this button is going to be called create character button. This button is going to work for us to make our character uh, exist. But you're going to see in a second how it's going to work. Create character. I'm going to change the color to black, it's very important to me. And I'm going to move not the text, the whole button, downwards to the center. I'm going to save my scene, and I also created this player script. This player script is practically empty, it only has a movement, um, little snippet of code. It's I don't even know if it works because I didn't try it, it should work. And uh, I'm going to add a couple more things to this uh, in a second, but first, we're going to go to our customization script. Um, this is the script we created last time. I didn't change anything about it. And the first thing we have to do is to find this text um, and to create a public int, which is going to be our how many stat points our player has left. So we're going to go do that. Um, first, we need uh, you know the text components. So I'm going to say a text. It's going to be agility points text. Agility points text strength points text. Oops, intelligence points text, and finally the stat points text. Stat points text, and as I said, I'm going to create a public end. Has to be public end called stat points. I'm going to call it stat points left it's how many points our player has left and so we have to find all this text in uh, our game object so I'm going to I'm gonna comment this it's gonna be called finding points texts so first agility points text equals game object not find Remember, we have to find the exact same string, so I'm going to actually copy it. F2, Control C, Control V, Julio points text dot get component, and the component type is text. Then we do the exact same for the other components. So I'm going to actually just copy this part because it's going to be the same. So I'm going to do strength points text equals game object that find and strength points text. I know the formatting now because it's the same as this one. And so I can just oops, I can just continue to use the same text. Intelligence points text equal game object I have it. And it's intelligence points text. Finally I have to create the last one which is stat points left text text, right? Uh stat points text, okay, text equals and this is called stat points left text stat point left text okay uh, this t has to be capital now we have all the texts um, I need to give um, uh, the stat points text while it's not um, a sign I need to you know show something in it so I'm going to show um showing something on the stat points text. Usually comments should not be this boring. It should be more informative, but I'm just helping whoever doesn't know what I'm doing about um this text. So stat points text plot text equals stat points left and I'm going to assign it my int that I just gave stat points left. Left. Okay. Now we have this ready. I'm going to create a function. 
this function is going to be uh, able to change uh, the points, you know, subtract them from how many points I assign and add them to my agility points. But for that, we need more uh, ints. We need a couple not non-public ints. So int agility points. I need strength points. I need intelligence points. Right? Okay. Now we have that. Now I ha that that I have that. I'm going to go forward. And this public void is going to be called assign stat. And it's going to carry on a string stat choice. Uh, you're going to say, why in a second? This is really interesting uses of buttons. I don't know if you, if you knew this, this was possible, but it's going to be exciting. Trust me. Okay, so um, we're going to make a switch here. What's a switch? A switch is like a couple of if statements. So if stat points left is more than zero, because you know if I have no stat points left, I cannot assign anymore. If stat point left is more than zero, then we're gonna make a switch. Switch is gonna be called. Uh, it's gonna carry on this stat choice. Whoop, stat choice. Okay. So how you work with switch you first say hey my switch is going to be carrying this information so when my if, my if statement here is case you assign whatever you need in this case i'm going to say agility and then you do this colon and then you do break it should work yeah okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna just fully make this happen so you guys guys can see strength and intelligence. So this is like if if stat choice equals agility, then do this. The break is just to finish the um, switch and it goes out here. So if they say hey I want this point in agility, then stat points left minus one stat points I mean agility points plus one and then I will say agility agility points text equals I mean that text equals agility points that to string there you go perfect and then stat points text Oop, text equals stat point left just updating the text and I'm gonna say plus stat points left there you go update the text oh string to you know oh yeah you have to do dot text here do never forget and that works and then I'm gonna copy paste that over to the other stats strength and strength and again strength points next and then i'm gonna do the same for intelligence 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 points intelligence points next intelligence points again and we're done okay so now we have this what's gonna happen is let's show you this is compiling um, what's gonna happen is when I hit play oh I have to assign the buttons uh -huh. this is gonna be my game manager and the function is gonna be oh, assign stats and so this is strength so I'm gonna say strength here and then agility game manager Agility and with this game manager, and I'm going to say intelligence save, always save, and then hit play. 
And now when we hit the button, it's at zero because I didn't set anything here. You have to set the stat points to whatever you want. Doesn't update unless I do this. There. I have 10 stat points. I can have as many of as I want. I can have 500. And now I have 500. Okay, that worked. This button does nothing now, but we want to work on this now. So, what this button will do is we're going to create a new player from scratch. I had never done this for you guys. So, I'm just going to show you. You can do this to code. And so, public void create character. This character is going to have, it's, it's gonna, gonna, it's, he's going to get information from the button so what's the information we get we get int we, we need these stat points for the character so the stat points are going to be uh intelligence strength and intelligence and agility that's all we need and so uh, we have to in our player script we have to have those variables. So I'm going to do public int <coughs> strength agility. I've said these words so many times in this tutorial. Well, I'm sorry. Intelligence. Okay, now we have these um, features. We can actually do uh, character. I mean, player. I mean, oh god, I forgot. Uh, game object. Game object player, no, I'm gonna call it character. Character equals new game object. Okay, what we did here, we created an empty game object. So I'm gonna say character dot name equals player. Like this player. Character dot add component. I want my player to have a rich by 2D. And character dot add component. I want my player to have the player script that I just created. So player, I'm gonna save and I'm gonna go and wait for Unity to compile and then go back in because I want to make sure that Unity can see my my these um, variables. So now we have the player script. So character, I'm gonna do get component player, and I'm going to see my strength. And set it to strength. Strength points. Uh, yeah, I don't need this. I don't need this. I just set it to strength points. And then character. That get component player. Agility. This will work. This will be amazing for you if you want to make an RPG and you want to create several characters. For example, you can just do this. It's really simple. And you can just position them wherever you want. I'm going to show you how in a second. Intelligence equals intelligence points. Okay. Okay. So also we can change the position. Character dot transform that position. I'm going to set him to new vector three. I'm going to send him to um, an x minus one and then zero zero. It's not going to be in the center of the screen. Okay. Um, are we okay now? We maybe. So let's check it out. I'm gonna go to Unity. It's compiling. I'm gonna assign 10 points to my character. And then I'll hit play. Okay, so he has 10 points. I'm gonna. Okay, I cannot assign anymore. I'm gonna set him to crazy green. Yeah, create character. So you cannot see him here because I didn't set any code for the menu to disappear. So if we go to scene view. Oh, I'm so dumb. You have to set the button. I always forget. Never forget that. Uh, game manager. Create character. Create character. Okay. Save. Play. I'm so dumb. Okay. Green. Uh, annoyant. He's, he's really dumb. Okay. Create character. Player. He's right there. So... Where is he? Oh, okay, I forgot something. It, he exists, but he doesn't have a sprite render. So what you do is you have to assign him sprite render. Character. Oh, 
Yeah, this is the interesting part actually. Add component sprite renderer. And what you do now is you get that component, character.get component, sprite renderer. And the sprite you're gonna set is going to be the representation sprite. Believe it or not. Ah, what? Image to sprite? Where is it? Uh, oh, where is it? Wait. Representation. Ah, of course. Tom Ramon. Okay. Press the last sprite. We wait. And now we hit play. Okay. Just a little bit. Not that crazy. And now green. Player is there. And I can't find them. Where are you? Oh, of course, he's falling because he has a rigid body. So I'm gonna set it to his kinematic. He's there. Huh. Stupid rigid body. Okay. What we're gonna do with this is we're going to do more playing with the character man. So after I assign the rigid body, I'm going to get component rigid body 2D. You have you can do all of this. You can do anything you want. So I'm gonna set it to gravity scale equals zero. So character, so he doesn't fall. Character dot get component rigid body 2D. That gravity scale, and this is gonna be zero. So he doesn't fall. Because he, have, he has no ground, and we don't want to go into ground detection and all that in this tutorial. Okay, hit play. And uh, green, not blue, he's time blue. Okay. So, man, some whatever. And he's there, he's created with the name we assign. He should not be falling. And I cannot, I don't know how can I, okay, I'm going to deactivate this canvas. So we can see him in game mode. No, we can't. We kind of, oh no, he, yeah, he's right there. He's just extremely tiny. And I cannot move him. But it's because, um, you know, I didn't check that code. But, you know, he's there. He's created. You just have to set your code to whatever you want. And he will work. So, thank you for watching. I'm going to copy this code into the written tutorial this time. I'm not going to create a, a GitHub for this because, you know, it's too complicated. But you can see it in the tutorials website. So, it's going to be fine. Uh, thanks for watching guys and if any you anything you want just ask me I'm here to help and well I'll see you guys later bye